Hello and welcome to the New Game Plus. Today, uh, this is a video, follow-up video. One of my subscribers requested me to make this video is regarding the settings that I use for Citra, the Android emulator. But instead of showing the settings for the Android, uh, they asked me about the settings that I use for the PC because they were having some issues having some uh, slow um, frames per second while playing some of the games. So in this video, I'm just basically going to show you guys the settings that I use on the Citra emulator for PC. Now the game that I'm going to be testing is going to be the same game as before. I'm testing Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last video, I was testing this on the, like I mentioned before, on the Android emulator. And like I said in the description, I do not have the full version of the app. I'm only using the beta version. So I will have to purchase it so I can uh, mess with some of the other settings. But this one on PC, everything is more open. So I'm going to be testing the same game on the PC. So first of all, the settings that I'm using right now on the emulator are the following. If we go here, after you open Citra, you gotta go to emulation. You gotta go to configure. So you go to configure, you're gonna go to graphics. This is the settings that I use. Since I'm playing the emulator in a 4K TV, I gotta match the resolution to 4K. And, and also, the reason why I'm doing this to the max settings is because this is the closest thing to 4K and I'm using a 4K monitor. But something that you have to have in mind is that you need to have a decent GPU so you can push it to 4K. So you see the other settings here? This is the closest to 4K. 4K is either 38. 60 by 2160, I think. No, 3840 by 2160. But the full 4K is around the 4,000 4, times 2400. But this, this is not the full 4K resolution, but it's the nearest. So I have it by 10x. So now I like to have enable linear filtering. I have that on. This I leave it how it is. There's no more options here for me. Test your filtering. I was testing some test your filtering, but I didn't have any of those how I look with the game. So I was just going to leave that and none. This wouldn't touch any of this right here. The reason why I have it like, like this here is because I'm going to have a big screen on the left with your game and a small screen on the, on the right with the other settings. So we're just going to leave it right here how it is right here and system I just set it up to enable the new 3ds model for some of the games this over here is not important at all it's just your username birthday how you would have set it up the same way on the 3ds audio I have everything the same controller here I set it up with my Xbox one X controller so you this easy as you can easily map this by just basically going each of the buttons, just pressing uh, the buttons on the control. So this is self-planetary. This is actually super easy to set it up. In general, also, this is what I have in general. Emulation speed, I have it to 100%. I don't have it more than that. Region is auto-select. This is basically kept by default. I haven't touched anything here. And that's all the settings that I have in here. So now, this is the game right here uh, for Emblem Awakening. So let's run the game. And right here, I have it set it up here so you guys can see how's the performance doing. I have the, my GPU. It's uh, really it's really cool right now, so good temperature. VRAM is using around two gigabytes, almost three. RAM on the computer is using like around 7 and my my uh, CPU temperature is actually pretty good and this is running on OpenGL and it's running around 60 frames per second but this is because the video is playing so let's just skip the video and get to the game oh now we're into the game 
it put this uh you see full screen there you go full screen boom so right here is the setup how how i have it like i was mentioning before uh left side we had a big screen in the left side we had a big screen and we had a small screen right here now the reason why i left the the graphics like that is because they look a lot better and what i mean by graphics i mean this when you go to emulation and you go where it says configuration configure graphics test your filtering this one can add some visual effects to the games i've been testing a, a bunch of them but this one they look like too soft even though they look a little more clear when i was messing with it and uh, i didn't like it so i prefer just to leave it how it is so let me go back and put none okay back to full screen now let's hit continue one thing about running emulation games in here is um, first of all you need to have a decent cpu and a gpu especially if you're going to be pushing the game to 4k or beyond that and also is resource intensive right right now is almost three gigabytes of video ram this um let me say i have uh my cpus are art uh ryzen 7 3700x and the gpu is a uh, nvidia rtx 2080 super around, you know. and ram i have on my system right now 32 gigabytes of ram so there's something they have to be aware of is you pushing the the emulation for some of the games uh some of the games are easily to emulate some of some of them some others are not and some of them requires more use out of your computers to be fully emulated but the 3ds in general you shouldn't have any issues you have like a decent gpu so let's get this video too thank you chrome there's an artifact i haven't figured out how to like um take away from this like the main issue here for for me is this here hmm? you're gonna see that it has blur i haven't been able to figure out how to take that off But this look a lot better than having with the other visual effects, so that's why I kept it. I kept it how it is. I haven't tested this out on Vulkan yet. I've only been testing it on OpenGL, so I might have to check on Vulkan. But I'm not sure is the option is available, so I would have to look into the settings to check that out. So let me skip this also, and we're in the game. As you guys can see, the game is running perfectly fine. It's running a stable 60 SPF. Uh, another thing I have to mention, I have basic on inside the emulator so I could keep a constant 60 frames so I could have like a smooth experience while playing the game. And remember, uh, also, they need to have a decent GPU so you could like push it to up to 4K and so on. And another thing, especially you don't have a powerful GPU and you don't have a 4K display or anything like that don't try to push the game beyond the point try always to match if you have a decent gpu to your screen resolution so if you have a 1080p just set it to 1080p don't try to go beyond that because is the game hard to emulate for your system is is gonna be it's gonna be looking horrible it's gonna be uh it's gonna be like moving slow it's gonna be lagging it's gonna be some test your issue and so on um with my phone and and the video that i was testing it i was testing it with different settings to see how it goes i know some of you guys saw the video some of you guys have some questions and that's why i'm doing this one but instead of doing it for the android just doing it for the pc like it was requested later on i don't know exactly when i'm gonna get the full version i'm gonna continue testing the emulator So as you guys can see, because my computer can handle it, I could run the game at 4K. If I couldn't handle it, it would run it super slow. That's some that's some stuff that you will be able to see like testing some emulators. Like if you pushing it beyond the limits, is it's gonna start lagging. And 3DS is, is is easily to emulate with a decent computer. But as you go on beyond 3DS, like emulating like 
PS3, that's one of the hardest consoles to emulate. So you gotta have like really good hardware so you can emulate the PS, uh, PS3 for example. So as you guys can see, it running smooth, we are skipping that. There we go. Okay, so far it's using 3 gigabytes on my video RAM. My video RAM you see in the uh, left corner. The green is the GPU information. The blue is the CPU and my RAM. And OpenGL, I'm running this on OpenGL. So let's see, let's go to a battle. You see how it looks inside the battles. Last video you guys saw, it was running super slow on my phone. Let's see how it looks over here. It is running at 60 frames, but I had to figure out how to take that blood off. Well, I hope you guys find the video helpful and remember to drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment do? down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.